Hello, I am Anfils, and today I'm going to make a quick and easy video to teach you how to install Hachimiku Pirates Diva Arcade Mix Edition for AFT. Mix Edition is a mod for the game that adds tons of songs, uh, over a hundred of them, uh, custom mods, shows, new features, and covers, all in this one big mod that you can download. But the problem is it can be kind of difficult to install it due to how many files there are. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First things you want to do is go to this Google Drive page, which I'm going to link in the description. But also, I'm going to link this video, which is the original showcase of the mod. And there's a download right there. You also want to go to this GitHub page, which I'm going to again link in the description. But also, I'll link the public Discord for Mix Edition run by Stewie, the creator. And in there, you can also find this link as well. But you're, what you're going to want to do is just copy or uh, select everything and just hit download. Uh, that's going to be the easiest way. You technically don't need these these files right here. Um, but just download everything because uh, it's just it's going to be easier. Um, and then over here, you'll want to download this. Mix Edition. That's 1.1.0.zip that was made on May 16th, 2022. And you can see a ton of songs that got added in this update as well. So once you hit download and wait for a bit, you're going to... Oh, that's not what I want. You're going to get a ton of files. Now, these are the good files you're going to get. And what you're going to want to do is right-click and just extract it to drive download, which you're going to need either WinRAR or 7-zip to do. There is a Windows uh, extraction now, but it's not that good. Just get WinRAR or 7-zip way easier. But you'll want to extract to drive-download folder. Uh, it's going to be a ton of numbers and stuff. What that's going to do is make this folder up here. You go in and you're going to see a lot of files. You're going to want to do Let's go to this mix edition right here where it says mix edition underscore edition underscore b1.7z it might not show the 001 but if it does that's the one if it doesn't just look for this icon or the 7 zip icon if you have a 7 zip do not worry about any of these all you want to do is right click and extract to mix edition b1.7z while that is doing its thing, you're going to want to go to the fixes file right here. And also do the same thing, extract fixes.7z. And for the ashes to ashes fix as well, extract here. And that's going to make these three folders right here. Uh, this folder should be already in here because of this right here. And that's all you're going to need. You don't need any of these other files. If you want to look at the credits, uh, this is the old credits. Um, but there's a ton of text documents here that you can look at. But to actually install the mod, you're going to want to put the that file on one side and another folder on this side. Oops. Just do it like that. And then go to your game, which this is a pretty much a fresh copy of the game that I just have sitting around. And you should have these M datas. You might have one. That says M271. That is optional. You do not need it. But as long as you have these, how many? Seven? Uh, yes, yeah, seven. You're good. What you want to do is go to the Mix Edition B1 uh, and go to M data. This should be these folders uh, from 11 to 21, not including 20. And all you want to do is drag and drop. It's going to take just a moment. So we're going to just sit here for a bit while this does its thing. Alright, once that is done, you should have a folder looking like this. That's perfect. You want to go to the downloaded folder and just back out of it. Uh, and go to the fixes one. This should be also an M data folder, and those should be four. Just drag and drop. And then replace when asked.
Awesome. There's one last thing we can do. Go to S to S fix M data and drag this one as well. Cool. Then you want to go to the mix edition 1.1.0. Again, those should be an M data folder and drag and drop. Place to an S, and there you go. That's all the M data is done. You want to go back out of all that, go back to the mix edition uh, V1, and go to plugins instead. On the left, where your game is, you want to back out and go to the plugins folder. This plugins folder will only show up if you have the PD loader, so make sure you have the PD loader, uh, and also make sure you have the newest one, which I'm going to link in the description to this page. Just come here and download this zip file. You should uh, get a zip file, extract it, and just copy all of its context into here, and replace. So back to, back to plugins. Go into plugins on the left as well in your game, and drag and drop. Cool. It won't ask you to replace this time, but if you back out again and go to fixes, this will be another plugins one. Do the exact same thing. Replace when asked. Done. Then finally go to the Mixed Edition 1.1.0, Plugins, Mixed Edition, Replace. You don't technically have to do all that, but it's easier to do. So you go in List and make sure you have all the files that you need. You're almost done now. All you have to do is go to the Fixes again. And back out of here. And there's a RAM folder on both sides. Go into RAM, go into Data Bank, and delete every file in here. It should be PB list blah blah blah. Um, you might have a ton, you might have less than me, you might have one, you might have the same amount. Just delete all the files and make sure you delete them. Like physically delete them. Select all of them, right click, delete. Then go on the uh, right data bank and just copy and, and do that. Now you're almost done with everything. You can close out, out your download folder, just have your game folder. You want to find diva.exe to launch the game. It should pop up this launcher. This is the version of PD Loader that's newest at the moment. Or pretty, pretty much the newest. Uh, and there's a few things you might want to do. Uh, first, make sure uh, you have the number of stages set to a, like a thousand. Uh, this is the number of times you can play a song before it shows you the game over screen. Just set this to something crazy. Turn off Encore, and these options are optional. Go to Player. Make sure Use Card is, selection, is selected. Not selection, selected. Go to Components, uh, and make sure pretty much all of this. You don't need like Cam Controller, Debug Controller, or Frame Rate Manager, but make sure you have Player Data in it, but this is very important. Finally, go to Plugins, go to Mix Edition, make sure that's checked, it should be, go to the config file. There's a few cool options here, and I'll just run through what each one does. So the language is self-explanatory, Japanese is the default, and it will display everything in Japanese. English changes the entire game to English, and the lyrics to English as well. Then EN plus Roma D lyrics is, the entire game is in English, but the lyrics to the songs are in Roma G, which Roma G is the Roman letterization of Japanese words. So for the word Watashi, which means I in English, instead of I, if you have the Roma G, it'll show Watashi, W-A-T-A-S-H-I, which is how you spell it in Roma, in Roman letters. This is the default option for when you play English Sweet Stone or English Mega Mix, uh, stuff like that. For uh, main menu background, you can change the background uh, music to one of these options. Also, the result background to something different as well. Difficulty. This is what the default difficulty will set you to when you load the game. So if you play mainly extreme songs, you might want to set it to extreme. 
uh, extra just makes it so it's like extra extreme, extra hard, extra normal, or extra easy, which there's only extra hard and extra extreme. Uh, I would personally just leave that off. Let's see this in free play. If you have the free play icon still loaded, which you can turn off in the PD loader, um, you can change it with this little base that uh, Stewie put in the game for some reason. Change game name. Instead of showing Hatsune Miku Pause Diva Arcade Future Tone, it was instead so Hatsune Miku Pause Diva Arcade Mix Edition. If that's just up to you if you want it or not. Cover preview. This is showcased in the showcase video, but when you select the cover, it normally doesn't play the cover audio. But with this plugin, it will show it. You can listen to the um, the cover before you actually play the song, which is a very cool feature, and I recommend leaving it on because it's very very cool. Uh, there is some issues with it, so take that as you will. Cover text. This just changes the cover text color that change um, that shows when you select a cover. Normally it's a, this pretty ugly yellow, but this changes it to a nice uh, light blue. I'm going to skip over this for a second. Enable FT font. This just changes all the font to the higher quality future tone font, which is like 1080p. Uh, while most of AFT was in 720p because this game was made in like 2012. To the disable extended data slash also get play data, uh, some songs in this mod are from uh, F second, which F second is a game on PS3 and Vita, which allows you to have edit modes. Edit mode allows you to create your own chart and 3D PV, PV through the, uh, the settings and the options to that game. You can actually port those over to AFT. But some of the motions that the characters do and some of the animations are not built into the game by default. And you actually have to install them, basically. This install might take an hour, it might take less, it might take more, depending on your computer and whatnot. I recommend leaving this checked so it doesn't do that uh, for right now. And when you go to bed or when you have to go somewhere, just uncheck that, hit OK, and launch the game. It will install the data, and you never, ever have to do it again, unless you fuck up Mixed Edition so bad, where you have to reinstall. So just leave that checked, hit OK, hit Apply, and Launch. You guys won't have audio through the video, because it's very loud, um, and I just want you to hear my voice. But, I would recommend opening up your search bar, and just typing out a uh, sound mixer leaving this open and finding the arcade future stone section. Turn this down to like F. This game is a arcade game, so it's very loud to compensate for all the machines and arcade games in the arcade. It will hurt your ears. So just turn that down before the game actually launches. Once there you go. The game is here and it has this custom intro. With the uh, with Kimigami Mercy as the song, it shows off some of the PVs and stuff. But you can just hit the screen. Wait for it to load. Remember, this is a lot of stuff for the game to handle. So when you load the game up, normally it'll give you two options. One says like players play with card, and one says players guess. Hit players guess, which is the scroll button. And then hit the scroll button again, which brings you into no normal mode. And there you go. We have 381 songs, which is the amount of songs that you should have. And all songs are here. With all the Mazas that are customly made. And then, also oh, the covers will work, so I have to go to a song that has a cover, which one of them is King. And you can just click the name of the song using your mouse, and it'll change. There you go, that's Matthew Matthew cover. Anunda Risu uh, Sakai cover. I do not even know. And tons of others. That's it. That's all you have to do. So I hope you enjoyed this, and hope it helped. And enjoy Mixed Edition.